Hey Oilers fans, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. No big Oilers news today, but there was some news items of note that I wanted to go over, and I also have some more by request topics to share with you guys. If this is your first visit to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing, and you can also follow along on Twitter and Instagram at OilersFanaticYT. First up, Tom Gazzola is reporting that Oilers netminder Ilya Konovalov left today's practice session early due to an injury. No word yet on the severity of the injury, but let's hope it's not too serious. As I've mentioned, he was one of the players I was most looking forward to seeing in camp. Next up, Frank Saravelli of Daily Faceoff posted an article stating that the NHL projects 98% of players will be fully vaccinated to start the season. Great news, as this should help limit any COVID-related setbacks. I wanted to quote one section of the article as it provides clarification on any unvaccinated players. The NHL and NHLPA are not mandating players to be fully vaccinated. However, unvaccinated players will be subject to significantly more stringent protocols for the upcoming season, including daily COVID-19 testing and severe limitations while traveling. Teams have the ability to suspend unvaccinated players without pay who are unable to participate in club activities, such as a player who will be required to miss games or practices because he is required to quarantine when crossing the Canadian-American border. Those players would forfeit the equivalent of one day's pay for each day they are unable to participate in club activities. It is still unclear whether a suspended unvaccinated player will count against his team's salary cap during the suspension and other COVID-related roster implications remain a work in progress. Vancouver reporter Patrick Johnston received clarity on that today, though, saying a suspended, unvaccinated player would not count against the salary cap. It's believed that at least one player on the Oilers roster, it's believed to be Josh Archibald, is unvaccinated and would have to deal with these issues. Keep in mind that's pure speculation, though. Archibald could be getting vaccinated, and it could end up being a non-issue. Saravelli also mentioned in the article that the idea of having a third goalie taxi squad is being discussed. Here's the quote. Feedback from NHL GMs indicated that they are most concerned about the availability of a third goaltender should one of their team's netminders get sick or get hurt. That would be the first area of concern that we'd look to address, possibly creating some kind of taxi squad for goaltenders, Bill Daly said. Again, we'll see how training camp plays out and what our experience is there, and whether adjustments need to be made. One of the best things we've done is we've been very flexible and able to adapt to the circumstances that face us, and we don't make decisions too early. Sometimes it's excruciatingly slow, but part of that is making sure that we can gather to make important decisions, and I think we've been successful in doing that. With having Alex Stalock, the Oilers are in a great position per se, but unless the Oilers carried three goalies on their roster, one of the goalies would have to clear waivers to go to the taxi squad. With his cheap salary, I think Stalock would be claimed if teams carried three goalies again. Maybe the Oilers could get around that by putting Koskinen on waivers instead? He would definitely clear and give the Oilers some more options. Something to keep an eye on going forward. Let's move on to the by request topics. The first topic sent in was from Hussein Ayub, and he asked me to rank the Oilers players from worst to best. For this topic, I included all the players on the active roster on Cap Friendly. I'll begin with number 25 and count us down to number 1. At number 25, Brendan Perlini. Number 24, Kyle Turris. Number 23, William Legison. Number 22, Chris Russell. Number 21, Devin Shore. Number 20, Slater Cuckoo. Number 19, Miko Koskinen. Number 18, Alex Stalock. Number 17, Josh Archibald. Number 16, Derek Ryan. Number 15, Ryan McLeod. Number 14, Zach Cassian. Number 13, Kyler Yamamoto. Number 12, Cody Cece. Number 11, Warren Fogle. Number 10, Evan Bouchard. Number 9, Duncan Keith. Number 8, Tyson Berry. Number 7, Yessi Pugliarvi. Number 6, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Number 5, Mike Smith. Number 4, Zach Hyman. Number 3, Darnell Nurse. Number 2, Leon Dreisettle. And number 1, Connor McDavid. 
thanks again to Hussein for sending in that topic. And the next topic was for me to select my five favorite NHL players of all time. And this topic was sent in by Dave V. At number one is Connor McDavid. Number two, Leon Dreisaitl. Number three, Ryan Smith. Number four, Sam Gagne. And number five, Doug Waite. That's all for today, guys. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave any comments you have in the comments section below. You've been watching and listening to the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.